morning? Well, not quite. this hat I just finished. Isn't it cute? It's a, um, a child-sized hat, I believe. And see, I'm going to apply to the Amazon vendor program. I have a bunch of hats made. They're all different designs, you know, colors and everything. And some have pom-poms and some brims and some don't. And we'll see. Because I love making these hats. It's so much fun. Like I said, I need to start selling them for the holidays. So we'll see if I can get orders. I looked on Amazon for hats and I did not see bright colored beautiful hats like the kind I make. But we're not talking about hats today. That's just a little side item. Today we are going to look at the Sherlock Holmes game. Everybody's always fascinated by Sherlock Holmes. And so here's this board game. There's been several editions and this one I got at Christmas time last year. And it's really neat. Let's go take a look inside. Here it is, the cool box. See why Sherlock Holmes is like the father of all cozy mysteries. Ooh, dum 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 dum. Huh, that box is kind of snug, but here we go. The main thing I wanted to hear the stories. So there's um, uh, about ordering the game and what it should include extra pads and stuff. Okay. Let's see. Ouch! Get my finger caught in the board. Here we go. This is the front 22 Baker Street. There is our board. And we have, let's see, the boar's head in. That's where you start. Sherlock Holmes Baker Street. Museum, the pawnbroker, the park, the dock, the newspaper shop, locksmith, um, boom, boom, boom. carriage depot. Oh, there's the tobacconist. The hotel. Oh, and the playhouse there, and the bank, and Scotland Yard, of course. What Sherlock Holmes would be without Scotland Yard. Now, in the box, we have these little Scotland Yard cards, skeleton key, one dice. I played this with my brother. We tested it out. Look at all these. Somebody really... Made a lot of these. There's the rule book. And oh, these are the solutions for each case. And there's like 200 of them. So and this is your solution checklist. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. You can use it for listing your clues. Come on, focus. All that. And here, there's like 200 mysteries. They're all good. I need to read these. I haven't read them all. Here we have, I think these are ones they've made up. Not real ones. Adventures of Kingsfield Ruby. The Adventures of the Ghost in Grey. The Adventures of the Dead Inventor. How could the inventor have adventures if he's dead? 
The Adventure of the Composer's Dying Note. The Adventure of the Rewritten Death. Okay, so there's a bunch of these cards, and I need to read them, because I'm a writer, and primarily going to be a mystery writer. So, I'm going to get some inspiration from these. Well, there we have it. Where are the pawns? Oh, there's the pawns. We have, these are the... You can choose from these. There's Sherlock Holmes hat, Sherlock Holmes pipe, a revolver. This is what in the world? I couldn't say. And a stein, a mug. Looks like a mug. Some sort of mug. Okay, so this, that is what is in the box. Now, let's take a closer look at those rolls. And the violin. Let's take a closer look at the rule book. I said we played it once. You, know, you pick up the cards. I said my main interest in this game is in reading those mystery stories and getting inspiration. You know how... It gives you inspiration. Oh, it was a magnifying glass. Duh. <laughs> that token, I couldn't figure out what it was. All right. And the clues are ranking. Somebody has really a good brain to think these up. There's another game. There's a careers game and a go to the head of the class game. I like those two. My goodness, so much thinking. Clues, types of clues. Killer Clue, Scotland Yard Clue, Skeleton Key Cards. Well, our video is not long enough to read all the directions. But, um, well, here, let's talk about winning the game. How do you win the game? Okay, when you think you have solved all the lettered items listed at the end of the case you're playing, return to 221B Baker Street. Basically, you make you get clues throughout the game, and then you try to guess the other ones. Okay, so whenever you think you know what it is, and you have to return to Holmes's home to Baker Street, and then give your statement. Yes. And it says, to win, you must give the correct answer to the killer, the weapon, and the motive. That's how you win. You have to be able to guess the killer, the weapon, the motive, based on the clues that are given. Okay. And the clues, like I said, they're in the different spots on the board. Uh -huh. And the final note. Oh, we'll read the final note. All right. When deciding where to look for clues, pay close attention to the information supplied on the case card and in other clues. For example, if you know that a bent pipe cleaner was found at the scene of the crime, you might figure that the tobacconist would be a good place to go for a clue. Or, if the crime occurred at the hotel, it's a good bet you'll find a substantial clue at the hotel. And see, I got this from Betty's Attic. It's online. They're very good. I've bought from them before. So if you're, I don't know if they still have this. It's probably on Amazon, too. <clears throat> and it's the most recent edition. I think it was like $50, 40 or $50. So it's a hefty price, but it's a really nice game. And I'm looking forward to reading all those mystery cards. Okay, talk to you tomorrow. See ya.